Welcome back. You know, Indianapolis is known for several things. Racing probably tops the list. There's basketball, though historic homes don't always make that list. Yeah, it turns out one of the city's best kept secrets is a house in the heart of Irvington, and its rich history is attracting a lot of attention. You knew this morning, Karen takes us inside to see what makes this local castle so magical. The neighbors call it the castle house. A Victorian Gothic style home nestled on East University Avenue. And it's actually my favorite house in Edmonton. Historian Bill Gouldy says it was built sometime between 1873 and 1876. And this is actually only my second time to be in the house. And so for me, this is a real privilege to be able to be here. In a home packed with so much history, it caught the attention of Emily DeGiusto. One day, one of my friends being sort of the bored stay-at-home moms we were, saw this house come on the market and said, hey, let's go look at it. She wasn't in the market for a new home until... Walked in, fell in love, had that overwhelming feeling of this is where I'm supposed to live. She put an offer in the very next day. Emily and her family lived here for the last three years. It's a lovely little reading nook. One of her favorite places, this second floor turret. These windows actually act like French doors to go out onto the flat roof above the porch. It's a magical place to sit and read a book and just sort of feel like you're in a little treetop oasis. The home recently went on the market. Interest exploded. We had 26 showings between Wednesday and Saturday. And then realtor Molly Hadley says the home sold. It's small, it's quiet. It used to be our kind of a best kept secret. Because we're right across the street from the Irving Circle Park, which is one of the oldest parks in the city of Indianapolis. And check this out, an auction newspaper clipping from 1913. The opportunity of a lifetime to buy one of the best located and most beautiful homes in Irvington. Even old artifacts found by previous owners. And inside the shoe were photographs. And this house, is important because we've lost so many of those early houses. So we only have a handful of the original houses still standing. It's one of those houses that everybody loves and everybody knows and it's just sort of enchanting. Mm, what a rare find, beautiful. Emily says it was a bittersweet moment when they decided to sell, but it was in the best interest for her and her family. You can read more about this historic home in the story at WTHR.com and on our news app.